Her expertise is finding the perfect match for the piano. She is, in fact, a matchmaker. Erica's matchmaking skills begin the very moment she meets a new customer. Well, thank you for coming today. Come on in. For many, a piano is not something you buy more than once in a lifetime. Erica's job is to make sure the experience of purchasing a piano is as right as it can be. I help you determine what music do you like to listen to? I like to listen to classical music. I mean, we have both have really eclectic musical tastes, and I would use thousands of discs, I mean, ranging mm -hmm. from everything. It tells me just my interpretation. The Zimmermans are looking for a piano. Betty used to play 20 years ago and wants to start taking lessons again. Her husband, Ed, is concerned about price. Whose treble is as beautiful as the lower parts. I think its name is 407. It's the first piano on the left. That really is great for you. Your low hand is going to play. Erica encourages customers to try out the piano. She shows Ed how to examine the sound of the piano. Erica introduced the Zimmermans to serial number 407 because it's the most popular piano for the home, and it's also within Ed's budget. Good. Wonderful. Does it feel heavy? It does feel a little heavy, but pleasantly so. Okay. The contrast between that 510. After trying several pianos, Ed asked if he could try a professional model twice as expensive so that he could hear the difference. What we're sacrificing. Okay. There is a little baby grand in the back, number 955. <laughs> I'm so in love with this baby grand, I can't get over it. Should be here. Yes. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. The 407 is machine made. The 955 is all handmade. Um, it might be on the bright side for you, but for a pipsqueak, a little baby grand, this has a sound that fills the room. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's one of the finest, most beautiful baby grands. When you're in the perfume store and you're given a lot of different perfumes to smell, you start to get very confused after a while. And I was just saying to my husband that I almost feel like I want to listen to two or three pianos now with a blindfold on so I can just listen. I wanted to buy a Boston, and I hope I can leave that way. <laughs> so. And I didn't really want Erica to hear that. Yeah, well, luckily she's out of the room. She's right there. Uh -oh. <laughs> Once again, Betty listens to the 407, which is within their budget. That's a, very, that's a very nicely balanced piano. The thing that I still react to is that it still sounds a little muffled. Okay. Um, <sighs> Betty can't forget the lovely sound of the handmade 955. She asks Erica okay. to play several different handmade pianos. Can you hear the difference? This is the first piano. the 955. High polished walnut were voiced up a little bit. You would be very happy, but I don't think we can see clearly today. I didn't like the first piano very much. 
Mm -hmm. Erica suggests the couple take some time to think it through. For 10 minutes away from the camera, the Zimmermans discuss their options and reach a decision. Where are you in your thoughts at this time? <laughs> I would say we're sitting in front of the Steinway. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should put a hold on this time Yeah, I think you're doing the right thing. So you know. <clears throat> Erica's matchmaking has come to a close. Okay. The more expensive handmade piano has been chosen for its beautiful sound. Right away, it's important to make the customer feel comfortable, to get to know the customer in, in any possible way with regard to music, but also the importance of what music might be in their family, um, and really then to custom fit a piano to what their needs are. I felt as if she really wanted to get a sense of who we were to know and understand how to make a match with a piano rather than um, looking at us as a commission. Now I'd love to have the piano in my house right now and be able to play it. Steinway pianos are manufactured at a factory in Queens. Each piano is handmade by skilled craftsmen. They are all one of a kind. This is how the curved side of the piano is made. The technique is called bending. A thin piece of wood is layered over and over again to produce the beautiful curve. This method has been used for over a century. To build a piano, you need a total of 12,000 pieces. The piano is a unique work of art. Erica is here to test one of the newest pianos. I'm very well. Very How are you? Nice. Gorgeous. Yeah, we make so many lovely veneers today. Wow. Doesn't it have a nice, full, rich tone? Crisp and bright. It's crisp and bright. It's just nice and focused. Very clear. Very, uh, very open. To manufacture a single piano, it takes a full year. The hands of over 300 craftsmen painstakingly design these pianos. Erica grew up in a family of musicians. Her mother was a piano teacher, and her father was a great music lover. It was only natural for Erica to dream of becoming a pianist. Erica spent years studying to be an aspiring musician until, sadly, in a skiing accident, she injured her fingers. Her father never lost faith in her recovery. As a pianist, uh, perhaps was maybe a little bit too overwhelming for me. And I'm the kind of person where either I like to do and be the very best, or decide to do it in another way or not to continue. So for me, it was uh, a, a, a way out. Though her career as a performer was behind her, Erica still felt the need to be surrounded by music. She studied music and business in graduate school and joined Steinway 10 years ago. Oh, that's right. Her father kept a quiet distance. Uh, well, if you were to come in tomorrow, what time would that be, approximately? I called my father. I remember him saying, you're going to be a salesperson? And... I felt there might be disappointment there and because he invested a lot of time and energy and love of music with me and, and we shared that and so I think he felt a sense of loss when I stopped playing. Erica's relationship with her father deteriorated over time. Six years ago, he became critically ill. After caring for her ill father, Erica returned home with a sense of uneasiness. She headed straight to Steinway Hall 
And though she hadn't played the piano since her accident, she needed to play once again for her dying father. She called his hospital room and asked for the telephone to be placed near him so he could hear her play. connected that way and so um, I played some pieces for my father and I would like to I would really I really believe that that night was one of the best times I ever played in my life and I believe that my father heard me and it was a, a wonderful way of closure for me to say goodbye to my father and he died peacefully the following morning Erica is hosting an amateur recital, and the hall is filled with pre-show jitters. We all have our challenges, certainly, but every day there's something that uh, keeps me wanting to continue in this vein of, uh, of working with Steinway and Sons. Um, I make people happy all day long. That's a nice thing to be able to do.